Good morning, good, good day, morning. bienvenue, Everybody. bonjour, good Ooh. morgen. He's multicultural today. We are everyone. multicultural today. <laughs> we are currently in the little village of Chartham in Kent. We're outside St Mary's Church and we're heading out on a 7.8 8. 8 mile circular walk today. Where are we going, Nudge? We are starting a brand new series for you all. We are. Taking in Exciting. all of the castles in Kent. There's approximately 25 or so, yep. um, depending on which list you review and what's considered a castle. But we're going to make our own list and we're, we're going to take them off, aren't we? are going to narrow that down. Today's one, first in series. Um, we are heading off to Canterbury <laughs> Castle. So we're going to do a circular walk from here, from Charter out to Canterbury pick up the castle and then we're going to pick up the Great <laughs> Stour River and we're going to follow that back along to where we are now starting off in Chartham. Yes, let's go. Let's do it. See you in a bit. <laughs> just walked up a little bit of our route about a mile and a half so far and we've come across this lovely sign pointing us onto the North Downs Way which we're going to follow now for about half a mile to get us into Charton Hatch. Shall we do this? That way. Let's go that way. Go go go. <laughs> it's not every day you get to see a Goodyear blimp flying across. I don't think I've seen one of those for years. Nor have I. It has been a very, very long time since I saw one of them. Look at it. It is big. I didn't realise they used them anymore, to be honest. No, nor did I. That's very cool. It's very cool. I don't think I'd like to be up there, though. I don't know. No, I wouldn't like it. That is very, very awesome. Right. Should carry on? Yeah. Huzzah! What is that? <gasps> oh, hello. Oh, oh my gosh. Hello. <laughs> Ribs, there's a reindeer. There's an actual reindeer. Oh, hello. What the hell? I haven't got any bread or crackers, guys. Hi, you guys. Hi. It says no apples or Nice to meet you. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh, I know. I know, I know. And Rudolph's come to say hi. Hi. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, was not expecting to see donkeys and reindeer on this walk. <laughs> we just made some friends, haven't you, Mudge? Yeah, right. They're so cute. Well, I feel bad because I don't have any bread or crackers for them. Next time, if you're ever doing this route, bring yeah. bread and crackers so you can feed these guys. They're literally just outside of Charton Hatch, um, North, North Downs, Downs Way. Way. We've just passed through there. Little and look at these little here. dudes. Yeah. Hi, nice. guys. Um, so we're just currently trekking through North Downs Way, so I thought we'd pop in, say hello, and uh, give you a bit of information about some English castles and the history behind them, yes. um, and why there's so many in the UK. So, big battle, 1066, Battle of Hastings, October 14th, something around there, I believe. <laughs> um, Someone's been doing their research. Oh, today. yes, I have. <laughs> um, King Harold of the Anglo-Saxon English army uh, went to war with William the, Conqueror. William the Conqueror or William the Duchy of Normandy um, 
And pre this war, there was only around about half a dozen castles in the UK. It wasn't really a big thing. Um, and then the Normandies came over. The Normans. The Normans. Um, with their mixture of Norse and French heritage and background. Um, and lots of different architectural skills. And when they first came here, they, as part of saying like appeasing for their, uh, for the war, they built uh, Battle Abbey. Um, and then they basically just went around building castles all over the place and bringing across Normandy architecture to England, which is why we are graced with so many castles. And the reason Kent has so many is obviously because we are so close to France <laughs> and the Normandies, or the Normans, Normandy area. Um, and it was seen as a big kind of key area for defences as well. Um, so yeah, that, which is what a lot of them are for. Um, some of them were just kind of older ones and uh, brought up by private people. They were given it to them uh, to say thank you for fighting for William um, during the Battle of Hastings. Um, well, we've got more than castles to thank the Normans for. Uh, for around about 300 years, we actually spoke Normandy French in England. Um, it changed the class style we have over here, um, changed the court system, the rule... All of those kind of things changed with the way the Normandies came over and it really shaped English history and, and how we kind of know England to be now and the history of it. So we have a lot to thank the Normans and William the Conqueror for. Thanks, Willie. Thanks, Willie. So we're going to keep going on and uh, we'll, gonna go we're going to find one of those castles. Um, <laughs> and we'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Wow. You thought 1066 was old. Mm -hmm. English history is ridiculous. <laughs> it is absolutely crazy. This um, poster here apparently shows a hill fort that's believed to be the site of Julius Caesar's first battle in 54 BC. What? When he led his forces to invade Britain at the time. So this is Behave. What, yeah. This is what apparently it would have looked like. 54 BC. Yeah. 54 we, BC. We are potentially walking where the once Julius Caesar walked. Yes, we are. Wow. Trying to look all hench. Yep. <laughs> have made it into Canterbury guys. We are currently yeah. in Westgate Gardens, which we've never been to before. We always no, drive over this, well, in the car, but... usually when we drive here, but it's actually lovely. And Especially lots on a day people, like today. Yeah, lots of people out enjoying the sunshine with their families or just chilling with a picnic. I'm a bit jealous of them. I think we're gonna have a snack break soon, aren't we, Midge? Yeah, there's been some hunting going on along here as well, which yeah. is cool. Yeah, I've always wanted to do that. We did it in Cambridge, didn't we? We did, it was But we've awesome. never done it in Canterbury. Maybe that's one to try. <laughs> Hello. Hello! We have reached our first castle in our brand new Castles of Kent series. Number one! And to kick us off, we are here at our nice and local Canterbury Castle. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it is closed today though because of falling masonry. Eek. Not the best. No. <laughs> now, Canterbury Castle was one of three original royal castles of Kent, the other two being Rochester Castle and Dover Castle, which you'll be visiting later in the year. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Hit that subscribe button, guys. So all three of these castles were built soon after the Battle of Hastings in 1066. This one was built between 1100 and 1135, and they were all on the main Roman road from Dover to London. Mm. Ooh. Um, this was the route taken by William the Conqueror, or Willie as we call him, <laughs> in October of 1066, and they were built originally as Mott and Bailey castles to guard this very important route. Mm. Mm. What's one of them? 
Well, I will tell you, MJ. Thanks and I will very tell much, because I don't have a clue. Now, for those of you, like me, who have no and idea me. what I'm really talking about, a Mott and Bailey castle is a fortification with a wooden or stone keep situated on a raised area of ground called a Mott, accompanied by a walled courtyard or bailey surrounded by a protected ditch and palisade. Ooh. Very interesting. Right. <laughs> we're going to carry on. We're going to go and get some grub. We are. And then uh, once we've finished that, we'll uh, have a bit of a scoot around Canterbury, show you the scenes. And then we're going to head back along the Great Stour River, Can't um, wait. back to lovely. the car. It looks mm -hmm. gorgeous. So, guess what? See you in a bit. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello. We're at the top of a very big hill or mound. It's the Dane John Mound. So this is an example of one of the mops that they would have used as part of a Mott and Bailey castle. And it's still here today. Um, it was first used as a Roman Roman? As a Roman burial mound, and then it's been used as a lookout point since then and as a marker in Canterbury for people to navigate from. Hello there everybody. We are suitably fed. We, we have food in our bellies. We've got some more killer jewels in our bellies. Courtesy of the yeah. King of Burgers. Yes. The Burger King. Today. This one got a scent and couldn't leave it alone. Couldn't leave you? it alone. And I've got a scent for some dominoes later too. No. Yes. We cannot do that twice yes, a day. Yes, we can. No. Food is too good to turn down. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. We are on our way back to Chartham we are. by the Great Stour Way. Yes, indeed. Uh, it's about a three mile route along here. Uh, it follows up, the River Stour, doesn't it? Follows the River Stour, the, the Great River Stour. So, oh, we've got a couple of miles left now, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, a couple of miles and we should be good. So, we'll catch you in a bit. See you soon. Moo. Moo. They're hiding from us today. Hello there little mate. We find ourselves a little water bowl here. Oh, so tiny. Look at him go. Like Hello. We'll leave you alone now mate. Oh hi there. To see through tree. <laughs> We've just made it back to Charlton. We can see the car from here. Um, so we're going to sign off. You look like very refreshed there. Yeah, Liz. knackered. <laughs> we are a bit knackered. That last kind of three mile stint along the Stour was, oh, was lovely. Hard, but hard but going. It was so humid very and exposed. no breeze. And I just was like battling through there a little bit. Yeah. Had a few stitches along the way. <laughs> Never so. mind. We hope you enjoyed the first one in our Castles of Kent series yes, the lovely and Canterbury enjoyed Castle. seeing and learning all about Canterbury Castle. There'll be more coming so make sure you're subscribed so you know when they're coming up mm -hmm. and uh, leave us a little comment and we will catch you all soon. Yes, see you soon. Hello. Hi. Okay. Okay. Filming.
Oh, sorry. Uh, Still what? filming. Oh. Little donkey, little donkey. So make your sub sub now. So guess what? I'm not doing it again. So guess what? Tell the bar. Tell the bar. Tell the bar. Stop it. Tell the bar. Stop it.